Tonight, the road to Unforgiven continues in this heavyweight clash in the main event. The street champ Sol Sokoa takes on the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Some bad blood a few weeks ago spills over to Los Angeles tonight. We are live from the Crypto.com Arena, the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California, set to kick off another exciting edition of Monday Night Raw. And seven nights ago, this man was set to defend his WWE Championship against Matt Riddle in the main event. That went AWOL when Brock Lesnar attacked Matt Riddle. A whole lot of situation to cover between Lesnar and Riddle, but Seth Rollins with a different matter on hand to kick things off here tonight in Los Angeles. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Well, it was eight nights ago at SummerSlam when Seth Rollins successfully cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase for the second time in his career to become the WWE Champion yet again. As we mentioned, Seth Rollins seven nights ago here on Monday Night Raw was set to defend the championship against the man he defeated at SummerSlam, Matt Riddle. Riddle wanted his rematch. He invoked that rematch clause last Monday night, but never even made it inside the squared circle because he was ambushed by the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. A whole lot of story to be told there, but nonetheless, Seth Rollins is inside the squared circle and he's got his hands full tonight with another former WWE Champion representing the New Day, Kofi Kingston. Xavier Woods in tow as well should be a great contest. And his opponent, accompanied by Xavier Woods, representing the New Day from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. Well, as Kofi gets set, we want to take you back to last week on Raw, and here's the events that transpired. Matt Riddle on his way to ringside when he was ambushed by the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. And remember back to May at Vengeance during Matt Riddle's WWE Championship reign, he defeated Brock Lesnar to retain the title all those months ago. The ambush at ringside, the F5 inside of the ring, I think tells a very interesting tale. It says Brock Lesnar has not forgotten about Matt Riddle's loss, or I should say Matt Riddle's defeat over him back at Vengeance in May. And even though the WWE Championship may no longer reside with the original bro, Brock Lesnar has got a list. He's checking it twice, and he's coming for payback on the original bro, like it or not. Interesting story, but we will focus in on the matter of hand here to kick things off from Crypto.com Arena, Los Angeles, California. Hollywood, the city of angels, kicking things off with Kofi and Rollins here tonight on Raw. And Kofi Kingston high out of the gate, recognizing the opportunity that's at hand tonight. It's been several years since Kofi Kingston held the WWE Championship, and it's been a long time since Kofi participated in the main event scene as well. But he sees he's in the ring with the champion himself tonight, and Kofi Kingston looking to seize the day as he sends Rollins to the outside now. And what has Kofi Kingston got in mind? Kofi Suicida sends Seth Rollins into the announce table. Los Angeles, California coming unglued in the early moments of this matchup, as is the New Day's Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston wants to get that victory tonight and possibly earn himself a future WWE Championship match against Seth freaking Rollins. Well, Rollins now participating in his first matchup. He's being victorious back at SummerSlam for the WWE Championship, not looking to see his first match inside the square circle. Go up in flames, if you will, against Kofi. And again, Kofi Kingston, a victory tonight, could easily put him as the next in line for the WWE Championship, possibly on Sunday night, September the 17th, in Chicago at Unforgiven. And Seth Rollins off the knee, trying to strike early and strike fast to get the victory, but Kofi Kingston survives. As this matchup progresses, Rollins trying to get back into this as he sends Kofi Kingston face first on the canvas. We want to remind you that next time we come your way for some live premiere events, of course, Sunday night, 
September the 17th. It is the Monday Night Raw exclusive Unforgiven event in the Old State Arena in Chicago. Of course, the night before, SmackDown will be in Baltimore for the No Mercy live premiere, as well as the Cruiserweight Classic, which is taking place currently every Saturday afternoon live at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We cannot wait to see how that unforgiving card comes together. Meanwhile, Kofi Kingston, SOS on Rollins, not watching the ring awareness there. But a great signature out of the arsenal of the New Day's Kofi Kingston. Been a little while since we saw the New Day in action here on the Red Brand. Going to make a victorious return tonight as Kofi goes for the double knees in the corner and Rollins going to avoid disaster. Seth Rollins dropping the knee on Kofi Kingston as well. I wonder if Seth Rollins has taken a vast interest into the main event tonight. But meanwhile, Kofi Kingston off the trouble in paradise to Seth Rollins. But Rollins gets the shoulder up. Kofi Kingston going for the kill and going for the kill early here in Los Angeles, California tonight on Raw. Well, I was about to state, I wonder if Seth Rollins has taken a vested interest in tonight's main event because of the participants, more specifically the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, but now Rollins turning the page, a pedigree on Kofi, but it's not enough to keep him down. Remember, it was just a number of weeks ago in the lead up to SummerSlam where Sheamus made his return to Monday Night Raw. Alongside Shinsuke and Nakamura in a tag team victory over Solo Sokoa and the man who put him on the shelf Back in May, Seth freaking Rollins. A lot of history, a lot of unfinished business between, between Rollins and Sheamus. And now that Rollins is the WWE Champion, you gotta wonder if Sheamus is chomping at the bit. Not only for retribution on Rollins, but a shot at the WWE title. Oh, meanwhile, Rollins off the top rope with the superplex. And the Falcon Arrow combination doing the deed in the middle of Hollywood, but Kofi Kingston survives again. Los Angeles is loud and proud tonight, kicking off a great episode of Monday Night Raw. Kofi Kingston down and out. These two men leaving everything in the kitchen sink inside the squared circle to open us up tonight. And I don't think Rollins was expecting this fight out of Kofi Kingston, but Kofi, opportunities don't come around each and every day. You got to take advantage when they come knocking at the door. Rollins realizes that Kofi Kingston is in for the long haul tonight, and he's going to have to dig down deep to try to take out the New Day's Kofi as Rollins over the top rope and taking out the New Day's participant. Rollins not afraid to take things to the air. Neither is Kofi Kingston. We are seeing a great athletic battle here tonight. I mean, how much more can these two men withstand in this matchup? Kofi Kingston has brought some of his... Most famous maneuvers to the dance. Rollins with a DDT Arn Anderson would be proud of. And I'm really starting to unload on Kofi. That pedigree didn't do it earlier. And he realizes again the fight that Kofi Kingston is bringing to this matchup tonight. The WWE Champion Seth freaking Rollins is going to have to pull out some tricks out of the hat in order to defeat Kofi. The Falcon Arrow combination didn't do it either. Kofi Kingston. He may be down, but he's not out just yet. As there we see another reversal. Imagine if Kofi Kingston can defeat Seth Rollins tonight. It could easily be Kofi versus Rollins round two on September the 17th for the WWE Championship, if that is the case. All remains to be seen what is going to happen in Chicago and Unforgiven, the Raw exclusive live premiere event. That's going to be an amazing weekend next month. Kofi Kingston with a beautiful reversal into the DDT, taking down the champion. And again, Kofi with another SOS. And elects not to go for the pinfall this time. Kofi wants to go for the kill. Could be looking for a second trouble in paradise on the WWE Champion. But will it be enough to keep down Rollins? Kofi's going to do it. Not just yet. Not just yet. Seth Rollins gets the shoulder up. The matchup rolls on. And Kofi Kingston has got to be wondering what the hell he's got to do to keep the champion down here in the City of Angels. And now Kofi into the ropes. Going for the splash. Could have been going for the boom drop there, but throwing something a little bit different at Rollins. All of his body weight crashing down on the midsection of the champion. 
Now Kofi off the ropes. The Rollins avoids the drop kick that Kofi had in mind. Now the WWE Champion sending to the outside, trying to create some distance, trying to get a breather after Kofi Kingston's onslaught a few minutes ago. Oh man, Rollins with the instability. Rollins trying to slow down the pace right now, possibly. Kofi Kingston at the same accord as we mentioned might be wondering what the hell he's got to do to keep the WWE Champion down tonight. He's hitting with double SOS, double trouble in paradise, but Seth Rollins rolls on in your opening matchup. Rollins just trying to stomp the life, stomp the heart, stomp the will to succeed out of Kofi Kingston tonight. I don't think Seth Rollins was expecting this fight, nor was he interested in this heavy of a battle. Rollins got lucky he avoided that WWE Championship match with Matt Riddle last week. But Kofi Kingston's giving him a fight for two tonight. And Xavier Woods at ringside. Kofi Kingston with the world watching wants to take advantage of the situation. Rollins off the top rope with the elbow. And he may have come crashing on the heart of Kofi Kingston. But Kofi kicks out again. What a matchup to kick things off here tonight on Raw. Still to come, we have Sheamus and Sol Sokoa, a heavyweight battle that Bray Wyatt would be proud of in the main event. But right now, Seth Rollins into the crossface on Kofi Kingston. And not a maneuver that we see Rollins utilize very often. Digging down deep in the bag of tricks, trying to throw Kofi off his game. Will Kofi tap out? Kofi Kingston survives, gets the champion off his back. I don't think Seth Rollins can afford another trouble in paradise, another SOS, another big time momentum shifting onslaught from Kofi. There's the swing blade there and Rollins, wait a minute, going for a second pedigree and he nails it flush. And elects not to go for the pinfall just yet. As Kofi's to his feet, you gotta be kidding me right now. Kofi Kingston is coming alive. A third trouble in paradise now. Rollins finally gets out of the way and a super kick counter. Misses for the discus forearm. Kofi, tornado DDT. What are we witnessing here right now? Win, lose, or draw. Kofi Kingston is reminding the world just who the hell he is. A decorated future Hall of Famer. Former WWE Champion, former IC, US Tag Team Champion, a little bit of everything in the accolade list of Kofi Kingston. And this matchup tonight is in case you forgot, here's what I bring to the dance, showcased by Kofi. Oh, what the hell is Rollins doing? A little uh, emphasis on that suplex. Xavier was trying to rally, but I think it might be too late. A curb stomp into the cover. Kofi's out of it. Co not, not just yet. Not just yet. The real awareness by the veteran. Kofi Kingston getting the hand on the ropes. Rollins can't believe it. He hit the curb stomp. Kofi Kingston reaches out. Kofi Kingston survives. And Seth Rollins now face first off the canvas again. Goes Kofi. He may have been running off instinct, running off adrenaline. I don't think there's anything left in the tank of the New Day's participant as Rollins delivers a second emphatic curb stomp. Into the cover, and that'll do it. What a matchup to kick things off tonight in Los Angeles. I do not think Rollins was prepared for that battle. Kofi Kingston absolutely threw the champion off his game, and Seth Rollins found a way to survive tonight. In case you forgot, Kofi Kingston reminding the world just what the hell he is capable of, and I got a feeling Here's that will be, wait a minute, wait a minute! The Celtic Warrior Sheamus is in the ring! We talked about the bad blood from all those months ago. Sheamus still wants his piece of flesh with the WWE Champion. Sheamus will be in the main event later tonight against Sol Sokoa. But he has still got a vendetta against Seth freaking Rollins on bro kick to the WWE Champion. Rollins took away months of Sheamus' career and the Celtic Warrior has not forgotten. Delivering not one, but two pro kicks 
and the WWE Champion is seeing the stars of Los Angeles. Sheamus throwing down the gauntlet here on Raw. What is the Monday Night Raw exclusive event? Unforgiven. It will be live Sunday night, September the 17th from the All-State Arena in Chicago. And a couple of massive matches officially signed as of today for Unforgiven. After their win last week on Raw, Butch, Ridge Holland, the Brawling Brutes, earning their opportunity against Damian Priest and Finn Balor for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. And what about this matchup? Brock Lesnar gets his wish. He will battle the Stallion Matt Riddle yet again, but this time to be contested inside the confines of a solid steel cage. Lesnar, Riddle, meet again at Unforgiven. But tonight, the action continues here in the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California, already getting a show with that opening matchup. But the man, Becky Lynch, has come around and she's looking to take down Tiffany Stratton tonight on the red brand. And Becky Lynch, we're going to talk Unforgiven. She threw out a challenge earlier today. We will discuss momentarily. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. The man, Becky Lynch, has had her issues with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. And earlier today, she had this to say. Asuka failed to win the Women's Championship at SummerSlam just like I failed at WrestleMania. I've thought about that loss ever since, and I refuse to move on until I right that wrong. Asuka, I am officially challenging you to a one-on-one -on -one rematch at Unforgiven. Title or not, this goes deeper for me. I have to defeat you and remind the world just who the hell the man Becky Lynch is. Becky Lynch with unfinished business with the Empress of Tomorrow, throwing down the gauntlet for a rematch long awaited in the mind of Becky Lynch at Unforgiven. A championship may not be on the line, but pride and bragging rights will be if Asuka elects to accept that matchup against Becky Lynch on Sunday night, September the 17th in Chicago. All remains to be seen. We have seen Becky and Asuka come face to face, head to head in recent weeks here on Monday Night Raw, even leading up to Asuka's what we saw to be inevitable loss against Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam. Will Asuka accept the challenge? All remains to be seen. But tonight, Becky Lynch with her hands full with Tiffany Stratton, a woman she has defeated before. But Stratton, former NXT Women's Champion, certainly has the tools to be a success on Monday Night Raw. So far, not so hot for Stratton. She's failed to pick up her first victory, but nonetheless, Becky Lynch trying to give Tiffany Stratton a run for her money tonight. STF locked in on Stratton early on in this contest. You know, Becky usually applies the disarmor. Elects for a different submission hold here tonight. And Tiffany Stratton taps out. My goodness. Becky Lynch, under a minute, just defeated Tiffany Stratton here on Monday Night Raw. Well, if that doesn't tell you the fire that is burning inside of the man to meet Asuka yet again inside of that squared circle, well, I don't know what will. An emphatic statement made by the man. Here is your winner. Becky Lynch! Well, Becky Lynch victorious tonight and earlier today threw out that challenge to Asuka. But will the Empress of Tomorrow accept? And will we get that WrestleMania rematch all these months later in Chicago on the 17th of September? Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Cameras cut in the ringside! The beast toward at Brock Lesnar! The original bro, Matt Riddle! Things are picking up where we left you last Monday night! And whoever started this brawl, I got a feeling it might have been Matt Riddle looking to get some of the beast. But things have spilled out to the Crypto.com Arena here at the Los Angeles, California. Well, these two men we found out will meet one-on-one -on -one at Unforgiven. And if you're wondering why it was going to participate inside a steel cage, it is for this, the inevitable between Riddle and Lesnar, a fight that will go anywhere and anywhere. Absolutely everywhere in Los Angeles, all the way to Chicago. My goodness, Lesnar. German suplex to Riddle on the steel ramp. A lot of bad blood after, in Lesnar's mind, the matchup back in May at Vengeance and then laying out Riddle last week. No longer the WWE Champion is the original bro. And there's a possibility that might have infuriated the Beast Dick Tarn at that much more. 
There is so much writing on this matchup. But before we get to Unforgiven, Brock Lesnar is looking to absolutely eradicate Matt Riddle from Monday Night Raw. We need to get some help out here. We need to get some referees, some staff. We might need to empty the locker room to keep these two men apart. This has been the MO of Brock Lesnar, quite frankly, for months here on Raw. First, it was Kevin Owens. He had to check that name off the list. We saw brawl after brawl between Lesnar and the prize fighter, which concluded at SummerSlam. And now Brock Lesnar is making his way down the list, and he's looking at the original bro, Matt Riddle, and he wants to get his pound of flesh, but so does the original bro after last week's F5. Riddle probably looks at Brock Lesnar as a man who took away his opportunity seven nights ago. And now the fight has spilled out to the top of the stage here in Crypto Arena. We need to get some help out here before Lesnar and Riddle absolutely destroy each other before we get to the All-State Arena in Chicago on September the 17th. It will be Riddle, it will be Lesnar inside the steel cage. We gotta take a break, we need some help out here. Over the last two weeks, we have witnessed the kickoff to the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic. Before your eyes is how the bracket has played out thus far, but all roads lead to this Saturday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern Time in Hammerstein in Manhattan, New York. Monday Night Raw's Tyler Bate battles Friday Night SmackDown's Drew Gulak in a matchup that promises to be a submission grappling extravaganza in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic. Also coming up this Saturday afternoon, one half of Los Lotharios, Humberto Carrillo battles the one and only Ricochet. Angel Garza upsetting Mustafa Ali just 48 hours ago in Manhattan. Will Humberto do the same against Ricochet? We will find out this Saturday afternoon as the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament continues in Manhattan, New York. But back inside the Crypto.com Arena here in Los Angeles, Shelton Benjamin back in action and remember a few weeks ago here on raw benjamin and cedric alexander taking on kevin owens and Sami Zayn. unfortunately an unsuccessful effort tonight shelton benjamin has got a singles opportunity against the intercontinental champion l a knight and his opponent from hagerstown maryland weighing in at 230 pounds the wwe Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight. Well, would it be a Los Angeles Raw without Monday Night Raw's own L.A. Knight, the Intercontinental Champion, the megastar, who retained the Intercontinental Gold eight nights ago at SummerSlam, defeating a close friend, the Shelton Benjamin, Cedric Alexander. Now, L.A. Knight walking into Monday Night Raw tonight, and I'm sure new challengers are approaching, and Shelton Benjamin Similar to Kofi Kingston's matchup earlier tonight, a victory could easily put Benjamin in line for a championship matchup against LA Knight, possibly coming up on September the 17th in Chicago at Unforgiven. Shelton Benjamin has held that championship many a times in the past, as well as the United States Tag Team Gold as well. A veteran of the squared circle is Shelton, back in action tonight on Raw, but can he keep down the megastar, LA Knight, who has been on a roll the last number of months? All remains to be seen, still to come in your main event. A heavyweight battle between the street champ Sol Sokoa and the Celtic warrior Sheamus, who has already had a busy night, laying out the WWE Champion Seth Rollins with not one, but two emphatic bro kicks inside of the squared circle. A lot of bad blood between Sheamus and Seth Rollins, that Sheamus has been itching to settle to say the least. Since that King of the Ring first round matchup all those months ago where Rollins elected to put Sheamus on the shelf. Very interesting situation that we're going to continue to follow here on Monday Night Raw. What about what just happened moments ago? Brock Lesnar, Matt Riddle, a brawl spilling out from the backstage area here into the Crypto.com arena after last week's events and certainly after tonight. That steel cage definitely going to be needed come unforgiven between Brock Lesnar and Matt Riddle to keep the fight inside the squared circle and settle things once and for all. Or remains to be seen what is going to happen in just a few weeks at that Raw exclusive live premiere event. But Shelton Benjamin has got the Intercontinental Champion reeling on the outside. Shelton not afraid to take things to the air as he goes up and over. But LA Knight sidesteps him. And the champion now in control of the matchup. 
A neck breaker on the outside. And the basement drop kick for good measures. LA Knight has been vastly impressive over the last few months. Singles victories over Rick Boogs here on Monday Night Raw. Rob Van Dam, not one but two victories for the Intercontinental Championship over the former champion, Ilya Dragunov. And as we mentioned, that win at SummerSlam just eight nights ago in Levi Stadium against Cedric Alexander. Shelton Benjamin, but he got knocked a little silly off that DDT on the apron, but still gonna continue to fight. Benjamin, a world-traveled superstar, better in the squared circle, as we mentioned, all the championship gold he has held here in the WWE. Can he get the job done against LA Knight tonight? A crash and burn. And a BFT by the Intercontinental Champion. And that may be all she wrote for the Megastar. Another win for the current Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight, here tonight in LA, California. And with Shelton Benjamin cast it to the side, you gotta wonder who is gonna be next to step to the champion. Here is your winner, LA Knight. Impressive as all hell. And the roll continues for the mega star of Monday night's LA Knight as the Intercontinental Championship remains around his waist. And as we mentioned, who is going to be next in line to challenge LA Knight? Well, what we do know is the man he defeated eight nights ago, Cedric Alexander, is set for a battle against Sami Zayn next week. Zayn pinned Alexander on the final roll before SummerSlam, derailing some of his momentum. But now they go one on one seven nights from tonight on Monday Night Raw. Also coming your way next Monday night on Raw for the first time since SummerSlam, the almighty Bobby Lashley is back in action with Lashley failing to win the gold at SummerSlam. What is going to be next for Bobby Lashley here on Raw? Also coming your way next week, the WWE Champion Seth Freakin' Rollins going to have his hands full with one half of the number one contenders to the World Tag Team titles, the Bruiserweight Butch. And Seth Rollins, Sheamus, their issues looming. Butch going to try to do one good for the Celtic Warrior next week. And officially signed for September the 17th, Unforgiven Challenge accepted. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, meets the man Becky Lynch. Championship or not, bragging rights certainly on the line in this long-awaited WrestleMania rematch. As for tonight in Los Angeles, California, it is main event time, and the street champ Sol Sokoa looking to continue his warpath here on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa. Well, last week here on the red brand, Sol Sokoa meeting his rival, the Blackheart Tommaso Champ, an absolutely physical battle. But Sol Sokoa in the end overcoming Tommaso Ciampa in a match that we speculated Ciampa was not walking in 100%. That was due to the ambush a few weeks ago, which then led to a unfortunate defeat for the street champ when the Celtic warrior Sheamus re-emerged, teaming up alongside Shinsuke Nakamura. And Sheamus pinning Sol Sokoa in that matchup alongside Seth Rollins a few weeks back. The street champ has not forgotten about that tag team loss, wants to do things his way tonight, and he's got the Celtic Warrior one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I would say it is fight night as it always is, but this isn't the first time we have seen Sheamus here tonight in Los Angeles. So I guess we will say fight night set to continue here on Raw. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! It was all those months ago in the first round of the King of the Ring where Seth Rollins defeated Sheamus, and after already looming issues from April or May, Seth Rollins decided to cast Sheamus aside after the matchup, a curb stomp at ringside, put Sheamus on the shelf all summer long. Sheamus re-emerged just a few weeks ago, as we mentioned, teaming up alongside Shinsuke Nakamura, successful against Sol Sokoa, and then Mr. Money in the Bank, Seth Rollins. But now Rollins cashing in that briefcase at SummerSlam, the new WWE Champion, Sheamus still itching for some payback over the visionary. You gotta wonder, 
Sheamus not only looking for that payback against Rollins, but I'm sure is itching for an opportunity at the WWE Championship that now resides with Seth freaking Rollins. All remains to be seen. What is going to happen as that situation develops with the main event is underway here at the Crypto.com Arena. Street champ Sol Sokoa, Celtic warrior Sheamus, a heavyweight battle in the squared circle. Sheamus, another singles victory two weeks ago. Monday Night Raw, live from Los Angeles, picking up that big time win over Apollo Crews. And as we mentioned last week, Sol Sokoa, Tommaso Ciampa, their issue has been looming ever since the month of July. Now Sol Sokoa evening the score, if you will, against Ciampa. One apiece. Big time victory for the street champ last week, but you gotta wonder the black part Tommaso Ciampa. You know he is not gonna take that loss lying down, especially coming into that matchup. Not 100%, thanks to the ambush a few weeks ago by Solo, sending him off the ledge through the spotlight, through the glass and the electricity. Tommaso Ciampa is gonna live to fight another day, and Solo Sokoa may better not forget about the black part just yet. Nonetheless, this brawl making its way to the outside here. Sol Sokoa trying to get that victory back from a few weeks ago. And Sheamus coming off the apron, but nobody home as the street champ out of the way and now in control. And a big time headbutt for that wild Samoan, the former NXT North American champion Sol Sokoa. Sol has been making some waves here on Monday Night Raw ever since arriving back in March. We have seen him inside the squared circle with some of the best, so this is not the first main event in this young man's career. Certainly taking the red brand by storm over the last few months, but you gotta wonder, Sol Sokoa, what is gonna be next for him on Raw if he can defeat Sheamus here tonight? Especially after what we have already seen tonight, Seth Rollins defeating Kofi Kingston, an incredible matchup. Kofi Kingston reminding the world just what the hell he is capable of inside of that squared circle. And then Sheamus laying out Rollins moments after the bell with those double bro kicks. But if Sol Sokoa can come into this matchup two weeks in a row, picking up a victory, first against Tommaso, next against Sheamus, could that possibly put Sol Sokoa next in line for championship opportunity against the visionary Seth Rollins? All remains to be seen what is going to happen as the road to Unforgiven continues. It's going to be an epic weekend of live premiere Saturday, September the 16th, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. The Cruiserweight Classic Tournament continues for Manhattan, New York. And then at 5 p.m., Friday night SmackDown's No Mercy from Baltimore. And then just 24 hours later, Sunday night, September the 17th, Monday Night Brawl's Unforgiven from Chicago. What a weekend it is going to be in just a matter of weeks. Shane is trying to get back into this matchup right now. A look at that strength by the Celtic Warrior muscling up Sol Sokoa into the sit-down powerbomb, but Solo gets the shoulder up at one. Not enough to keep Solo down for the three, but certainly enough to shift the momentum into the corner of the Celtic Warrior as Sheamus starting to throw some haymakers. Up and over goes the street champ. Sheamus now trying to build some momentum and sending Sol Sokoa for a ride. Not many people are going to be able to ragdoll Sol Sokoa like that. But the strength of Sheamus certainly going to aid him in his pursuit. And then off the middle buckle with the shoulder block. And Sheamus, in a matter of just a few maneuvers, has switched the momentum to Celtic Warrior territory. Solo in the corner and Solo in trouble. Sheamus coming into Los Angeles tonight with a mission, motivated to not only settle the score with Seth Rollins, but to pick up another decisive victory over Solo Sokoa. Solo down, but is Solo out? Sheamus got to keep this momentum going, but there's a reversal there by the street champ. Oh, wait a minute, Solo going for the Samoan spike. And that may be all she wrote. One of the hardest hitting maneuvers in the arsenal of the street champ, but not enough to keep Sheamus down. Sheamus tough as nails, as tough as they come. Solo throw one of his best maneuvers at the Celtic Warrior, but Sheamus survives. And there's a reversal by Sheamus. Axe hammer to the back. Oh, wait a minute, Sheamus. An eye for an eye. Looking for that white noise on Solo Sokoa. And that went Sheamus into the cover. But only a two. A great reversal comeback there by Sheamus. 
Might have felt a sense of urgency after that Samoan spike. Sheamus off the reversal knew he had to capitalize, hit that white noise. Certainly enough to put Solo down, but not enough to get the three. Send it Solo to Sokoa to the outside. I think this is smart by Sheamus. Take a moment, create some distance, get a breath. Solo Sokoa. That Samoan spike might not have kept the Celtic Warrior down, but doesn't mean damage wasn't done. Beautiful tilt to world backbreaker. And again, not many people are going to be able to muscle up the heavyweight in Sol Sokoa like that. But Sheamus certainly with the capabilities to do so. Sol Sokoa trying to rethink, rethink the strategy at ringside. Put together a new blueprint to defeat Sheamus tonight. Sheamus, one of those guys, you got to come in with an A plan, a B plan, a C plan, all the way to Z. And Sol Sokoa is realizing that firsthand tonight in the main event. Headbutt enough to knock Sheamus down, but not enough to capitalize on the momentum as Sheamus is now throwing lefts, throwing rights. Sheamus is not afraid to turn this matchup into a Pier 6 brawl in the middle of Los Angeles. A nice reversal there by Solo and squashing him up against the turnbuckle like a bug, my goodness. Now Sheamus with a reversal and Sheamus with a bro. Into the cover. But Sol Sokoa kicks out, you gotta be kidding me. Sheamus struck out of nowhere with that bro kick. The maneuver that defeated Sol Sokoa just a number of weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw with the street champ. The jaw made of granite, able to survive. And now up on the top rope, what the hell does Sheamus have in mind? Realizes he is in for a fight of his life off the top, my goodness! Into the cover! And still not enough! Sol Sokoa kicks out again! Well, it's well documented the toughness, the resilience of the street champ Sol Sokoa. But Sheamus has still got to be racking his brain, throwing such heavy maneuvers. Now, heavy shots at Sol Sokoa, but can he get the three count? Absolutely, just starting to unload on the street champ. Gonna be going for that tilt to whirl again, but Sol Sokoa off the counter, grabbing a hold of the Celtic Warrior, and finally stops the momentum of Sheamus. Going to the outside to catch a breather, but the street champ is on his tail. It's been a great night of action here on Raw. Kofi Kingston and Seth Rollins tearing down the roof here at the Crypto.com Arena. Sheamus and Sol Sokoa. Trying to one-up it, if you will, tonight. Solo down, off going into the steel steps. What has Sheamus now got in mind? The Celtic Warrior again. Pace slows down for a minute. When you start to get into these deep rounds, endurance starts to play a factor. Who's got more left in the tank? Who wants the victory more? These two men start to play a game of cat and mouse. I think both may have the same idea. Try to create that distance. They're trying to strike by the iron's hot. Solo grabbing Sheamus. Got him up in the fireman's carry with the Celtic Warrior throwing some stiff elbow shots. And a reversal by Solo. And what a shot to take Sheamus off his feet. Oh no, Samoan spike. Oh, Sheamus with the counter. And a second pro kick. What a reversal into the lateral press. And that'll do it. Solo Sokoa went to the well with the Samoan spike again. This time, Sheamus had it scouted and the Celtic Warrior delivered. Not a none, but a second bro kick. What a maneuver, what a matchup by Sheamus, and what a victory here tonight in Los Angeles. Here is your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Well, tonight has certainly been a night for Sheamus making waves here on Monday Night Raw. And wait a minute, Seth Rollins now in the ring. Well, the WWE Champion clearly has woken up from those two bro kicks earlier tonight. And it's an eye for an eye over the Celtic Warrior. Well, you can't blame Seth Rollins. Obviously, Rollins was the one who escalated this whole situation months ago. Sheamus threw down the gauntlet earlier tonight with those two bro kicks. And now Seth Rollins giving Sheamus a taste of his own medicine. One curb stomp. The Insiguri. 
Sheamus is down, Sheamus is out, but the WWE Champion is looking to send a message here tonight. Looking for a second stop on the Celtic Warrior. An eye for an eye tonight in Los Angeles. Sheamus threw down the gauntlet. The WWE Champion has responded. What is next between Sheamus and Seth freaking Rollins? Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rider.